Wake up and now around the web and around the world and the Gulf Coast too. Welcome back everybody at 641 on this Wednesday morning. Tomorrow night is the big night when the Lance Armstrong will air on Oprah Winfrey's network. Mm -hmm. Own O W N, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are still uh, talking about why would he admit to using performance-enhancing drugs now? I mean, after all these years of denials, why now? Uh, this is some footage from uh, Oprah's uh, interview with Lance Armstrong, and uh, there's a bunch of articles online this morning. And uh, one particular author has a few theories of why now. Uh, perhaps it's because uh, he can no longer face perjury charges because the statute of limitations is up. Uh, perhaps he's just trying to repair his legacy. Mm. That's what a lot of people have said. Maybe he wants to, to move on from this because he has a tarnished leg uh, image. Uh, perhaps he wants to compete again because if he cooperates with the USADA, then perhaps they would lift this lifetime ban. And, and the, the discussion is that he wants to actually compete in triathlons. Um, we'll, so we'll, we'll see if, if that will eventually happen. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a lot of people are saying, well, no, he's just remorseful. And uh, wants to wants to come clean now because again of years of denials. Perhaps he's uh, narcissistic and the spotlight wasn't shining as brightly on him as it is now. Right. Well, you know that's interesting. There's and I, it'll, so the interview airs uh, tomorrow night. I believe it's over two nights on yeah. Oprah's network. She didn't say a whole lot when she was interviewed on CBS's well, morning show not. yesterday. But uh, <laughs> but uh, the word is out. Because she wants people to watch her yes, network. Yes. But the word is out that he has yeah. admitted to using these performance enhancing drugs. Is he drugs. apologizing? Uh, he has apologized to his uh, staff at Livestrong, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I imagine he will be doing a lot of apologizing because a lot you know, of people are very upset. You know who else is apologizing? Who? The mayor of Corleone, mm -hmm. the Sicilian hill town that was uh, s synonymous with uh, the mafia and, you know, the gangsters, the Godfather. The Godfather movies actually made the village of uh, Corleone uh, famous, and uh, there, there are references to it all over town. But the mayor is like, after, after decades of this mafia stuff, let's cut it out. Mm, oh you know, right. the, the bloodshed and all of that. Let, let's, let's, let's get on the right side of the law and forget all this. And he's calling on the mafia uh, to do that. Of course, now, now here's the scene from, from The Godfather. This is, uh, you know, Don Corleone, of course. Yeah, right the rest well, and a month from now, this Hollywood Big Shot's gonna give you what you want. Too late, they start shooting in a week. I'm gonna make him an offer, Camera Fuse. <laughs> I'm gonna make him an offer, Camera Fuse. I love that line, I love that movie. Anyway, uh, the mayor of Corleone apologizing for decades ah. of mafia crime and influence. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. All right. You can go out and buy the newest Girl Scout cookie and feel no guilt at all, Bill. Uh, you know, it is mm. nutritious according to the Girl Scouts. Here it yeah. is. The new mango creams are infused with Nutrafusion. Okay? What the so world what the is heck that? is that? Basically, <clears throat> vitamins. Uh, this is the brand new. It's a tropical type Nutri cookie. I can <laughs> Nutrafusion. That means infused with nutrients. Uh -huh. Vitamin okay. B. Much better than Nutria. Nutria. <laughs> a, C, D, E. Where you have end up with a furry cookie that weighs 16 pounds. <laughs> hey, towns. I'm staying on message here. B6, zero <laughs> grams of trans fat, <laughs> as you guys uh, <laughs> Kind of have gone in a different direction, but yes, the mango creams, the guilt is over. All these, uh, the the typical ones that they've sold for years, which we all love, are packed with sugar and fat and all yeah, yummy like things. Yeah, like, like a cookie is yes. supposed to be. <laughs> exactly. That's right. The mango creams—they're trying to appeal to people that maybe want a healthier I'm, option. I'm suspicious of nutritious cookies. Nutritious oh, cookies. So. Do they taste? Uh, our producer says they're really tropical. So if you like a sweet cookie, they'll appeal to you. Okay. Give them a try. Yeah, with now with Nutria Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the Nutria Fusion, uh, the Nutria infused cookies are the ones we sell to the alligators oh, out on the causeway. Oh, oh, yeah, very, very popular. popular yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Show you what's going on out over the uh, alligator infused uh, causeway. This is actually looking north over Mobile Bay from the Complete Angler in Daphne, and yes, there are alligators out there. All right, let's take a look. Show you what's going on. In the forecast headlines for today, they include uh, clouds, showers, boy, nothing surprising there after the way things have been going this week, cooler temperatures for all, and that includes you folks in the Florida Panhandle that have been into the 60s this weekend. Overnight lows stay on the cold side in the 30s.
Well, today, President Obama will lay out his proposals to stop gun violence, among them the reinstatement of the assault weapons ban, a ban on high-capacity magazines, and tougher criminal and mental background checks. Local law enforcement leaders disagree on some of those proposals. That's first in today's City by City report. I'm Pat Peterson in Baldwin County, where many police chiefs oppose new gun control legislation. The chiefs tell us reinstating the federal assault weapons ban, which expired in 2004, won't keep guns out of the hands of criminals. Officers also disagree with a White House proposal banning the sale of high-capacity magazines. I'm News 5's Chad Petrie in Mobile. Mobile's mayor is still trying to get a disaster declaration for the city after two tornadoes. The challenge may be meeting the federal threshold for aid. They need to show more than $6.8 million in uninsured losses. Right now, the city expenses alone are nowhere near that. I'm Tiffany McCall in the News 5 newsroom. Some tornado victims are hoping to cash in on a small interest loan offered by the Small Business Association. The organization set up shop at the Western Administrative Complex, offering loans of up to $200,000 to homeowners for property damage and up to $40,000 to homeowners and renters to repair personal property. Interest rates are as low as 1.75%. You have until next Thursday to apply at the center, with the exception of Sunday and Monday to observe the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday. I'm Ashley Knight in Mobile County, where school officials are trying to find out just how much money it'll take to restore Murphy High School. The damage here at Murphy High School has been estimated at $10 million. The school board has approved $8 million. $4 million of that will come from the capital budget. Another $4 million will be borrowed from their $100 million bond. Facilities manager Tommy Sheffield says the restoration of Murphy High School will cost about $35 million, with the first phase costing $10 million, and that's just to get students in the door. They hope to get funds from FEMA, state, and local agencies. I'm Debbie Williams in Orange Beach with the latest on the Red Snapper season. This year's season is expected to be the shortest on record at just 27 days. It starts June 1st and has a two fish per person limit. The controversy remains over how many red snapper there actually are in the Gulf. A meeting tonight in Orange Beach with the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council will discuss management issues and the shorter season. It will be held at 6 o'clock tonight at the Hilton Garden Inn in Orange Beach. The public is invited. I'm News 5's Alan Carter reporting in Baldwin County. A statewide ad campaign is set to tackle the growing problem of suicide in Alabama. The state has one of the highest suicide rates in the country. In 2011, 640 Alabamians committed suicide. The hope is that the ad will start a conversation and hopefully get the numbers down. The state's new campaign will launch in the summer. It's funded by a $1.5 million grant. I'm Lauren Vargas at the flea market in Mobile, where police are trying to figure out who stole thousands of dollars of classic comic books. The shop owner came by his stall to work Tuesday morning when he found hundreds of his classic comic books gone. Stephen Barrington has been building his comic book collection at the flea market for more than 20 years. He then says most of the items stolen are irreplaceable. Uh, for News 5 this morning, I'm Lauren Vargas. Stay with us up next, a final look at your traffic. It's 652. Keep it here on News 5. Welcome back, everybody. 655 just about here on this Wednesday morning. We need to check your roads before we go. Let's check in with Kane for that. Good morning, Kane. Well, good morning, Bill and Devin. We've got one accident now. Going to be a airport boulevard on the exit ramp to northbound 65. The officers have been able to pull it off the side of the road, so it's not going to be affecting traffic too much as they're waiting for the wreckers there. It's been a good ride. You can see here from the 1065 split past Michigan Avenue, DIP, all the way back downtown through the George Wallace and the Bankhead Tunnels. Light traffic so far. Still some wet roadways, so be careful as showers have moved through the area. But right now, no delays. You can see across the Bayway and the Causeway. Daphne and Fairhope, once again, you're checking in accident-free. So be safe, and as always, have a blast. Blessed day, everybody. I'm Kane with your WKRG News 5 traffic. Now, your weather on the fives. Good morning, 655 on a Wednesday, the middle of the week ending on Thursday. But by Thursday afternoon, it's sunny skies and Friday will be sunny as well. All right. Well, again, a little sunshine for your morning. Our pet of the week from the Mobile SPCA 
There he is oh, so oh, sweet, big bless sweetie. his heart. And he's awake. Oh, look how oh. cute he is. This is Pong, <laughs> and he is a pug chihuahua a mix. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. A chihuahua. Precious. You're a chihuahua. Ten weeks old. He's waiting for you at the <laughs> Mobile SCCA. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.